Hello friends and welcome to the beautiful desert. In today's video, I'm gonna go over a few issues that I've been having with some of my feeders and hopefully a little problem solving will happen in this video too. So come along with me and let's take a look. So I have a feeder here that gets a lot of sun. It gets full sun and I wanted to try to find a way to give it a little more shade and I found a product that I wanted to, to try out. So this is the before. So not only do I have an issue with the full sun with not only that feeder, but two other feeders as well, but also I'm hoping that by providing some sort of a cover over those hummingbird feeders, that it'll stop the guarding and chasing off of the other hummingbirds from some of my more dominant birds. But we'll find out. I know that there are some DIY shade covers that you can do. You can get something at the dollar store, but I went ahead and just went for the spend the money and let's see what we get. So this is what I ordered off of Amazon. First impression, it comes in this nice storage tote bag, which is nice. And let me open that up here. It comes nicely protected. Here is our little shade cover, and it is pretty durable. It's made out of a, a strong plastic. Uh, I like that it has the opening here for the ant moat so I can put water and ice in it to keep the bugs off, and I'll, hopefully the birds will drink that water as well. Um, so let's see if there's some hardware. Like, there it is. So nice, it comes with a long hook, and it looks like two of the shorter hooks. So there's the long and I've got two shorts, but the long, my feeders are pretty close to the ground as it is. So I'm thinking this is gonna make it even lower. Uh, that might be a secondary issue that I might run into. So I may switch out the hooks that I have to hold my hummingbird feeders and maybe go for some bigger, taller ones and I'll use this longer hook, but I'm gonna see how these short ones work out. So let's put this together. So it looks like it just screws into the top here and I'm just gonna screw it in probably just about halfway. Finger tight pressure there and get the other half for the other end. Just tighten that up to finger pressure until it stops. That looks about good. Screw that in just a little bit more. Great, so this looks like it's ready. Let's take it outside and see what those hummingbirds think. my feeder off here. I'm just going to set that down for a second. I'm going to grab my little hook, place it on like so, pick up my feeder. And voila, so this will be what it looks like. Let's get that on the hook here. So right off the bat, I notice it is pretty low to the ground. What eventually will happen, I'll probably uh, invest in some taller hooks here, um, but for now, let's see if this makes, make sure that this gets enough shade. Now the sun is setting, so it is getting some of that sun from the side, but this will definitely help out, I'm sure, for that noon sun that comes straight down and uh, help hopefully protect that feeder. So let's see what the hummingbirds think.
Well, there's my little guy there, that naughty little one. So it doesn't look like it's going to help out too much with the guarding problem that I have, but it will definitely help out with the shade. Sadly, this feeder did get a lot of shade, but we had a new neighbor that moved in behind us with lots of trees and they decided to take some of the trees down so this feeder doesn't get as much shade. So I'm hoping that the little cover there will help and keep my little hummingbirds happy and healthy. So it's the next day and I wanted to do a follow-up with this feeder with the shade and it's about 1.30 p.m. I have direct overhead sun on this feeder and from the looks of it, it's getting a good amount of shade. So I am happy. So whether it's DIY or a spendy purchase on Amazon, it's important to keep those hummingbird feeders protected with a good amount of shade, especially during these hot summer months. So until next time, I appreciate you watching and until then, happy birding.